what's up guys? So I wanted to talk to you about my moving experiences, and to be honest, I've moved a little too much in the last six months. So the first time I ever moved anywhere, I was 18 years old, getting ready to start college, and it was a really smooth process to just move out of my parents' house and go and move into an apartment with my older brother. And while I was in that apartment, I started this YouTube channel, so when you see videos like this one, I was in that apartment. And while I was living there, I got a job, and I met my now ex-boyfriend. And after being with him for almost a year, we decided to move in together because I mean, I wasn't in a very good place financially, and I'm still not in a good place financially right now, but we decided to move in, and it was very rocky. So I, in order to, so in order to move out of my first apartment, I had to get somebody else to take over my lease since I let my brother talk me into renewing it, even though I knew I wanted to leave, but... Everything worked out. My brother's friend said he'd take over my lease, and we went and we signed it to where my lease would go over to him a month before I had to be moved out. <laughs> so I had a month of like scrambling to pack all of my belongings up. I, I had to move out on the last day of July, and at the end of July, my parents came, and <laughs> we ended up still packing on the day I was moving out. So we were simultaneously putting everything in containers while packing everything down and loading everything into a trailer, like a pull behind trailer, which was pretty chaotic, but not the most chaotic bit of moving I've had. <laughs> but in this process, the reason I wasn't able to get packed up in a month's span was because, fr first off, I've been living there for two years, and I accrued some stuff while, in, while living in the city, and that kind of made me have to get more containers, and it was fun. <laughs> but while this was going on, I was also taking online classes through a university that I, I'm not gonna name, um, but it's not in the same state I was living in. Well, am living in, I'm still living in the same state. But I was taking online classes and I was struggling with those while also trying to get a return to work date from my job because they put me on leave after I was unknowingly exposed to COVID and started showing symptoms. Like, they knew I was exposed, I didn't know I was exposed, so I couldn't get tested. Uh oh. <laughs> And it was absolute chaos. So I kind of figured I wouldn't end up being able to go back to that job. So while all of this was going on, while, while all of this was going on, I had also started applying for jobs online. I have not gotten any. A lot of them were, were older applications from places that had had to shut down during this pandemic for, well, to shut down temporarily during this pandemic. So. Not a lot of them were actually still hiring, they just hadn't taken the applications down, which really stunk. And like, my homework situation, it was insane. So I was taking eight-week courses, and if you've ever taken an eight-week college course, you know how much homework they give you. I had... I was taking three classes, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but I had every week I had I had tests due, I had quizzes due, I had a written assignment and there was one that had to have a written assignment where you had to do a lot of research with some hard to find things and connect it back to the Christian religion, which was pretty challenging, especially when it was talking about like things that were around before the Christian religion. Like, because you, you couldn't connect it back to 
to Old Testament. You have to connect it to New Testament. Which was a challenge. And I was extremely unprepared. And what ended up happening is I moved out of that apartment, but I didn't move straight into another one. No, we hadn't, me and my boyfriend had not gotten a new apartment. Like, we were, we were supposed to hear back from one of the apartments we applied to, but we didn't because, well, we hadn't at that point. We were supposed to hear back from one of the apartments that we applied to, but we hadn't at that point, and they didn't tell us why, but turns out it was because somebody in the office got COVID and had to, they had to shut down the entire office because they had three people that worked there and all of them were exposed at that point. So we ended up. So me and my boyfriend ended up moving into a hotel, which I actually did this video while I was at the hotel, and I'm just gonna say things started going downhill in my relationship when we moved in there. And we moved in there on July 31st, the same day I moved out, and three weeks later on August 21st, we were able to move into our apartment, which is where I recorded videos like this. And it was, oh, it was kind of chaotic. So when we moved into the hotel, most of my stuff had to be sent home, like sent back home with my parents to be brought up at a later date. And all I really had was a few totes that I could stick in the back of my car. Um, so I had a tote with all of my electronics, I had a tote of clothes, and like, the necessities. Which, <laughs> living at a hotel really wasn't all that bad, even if it was just for three weeks. And honestly, I kind of enjoyed it, strangely enough. It, it was a nice change of pace, you know? It, it was kind of like having a three-week vacation for me. But on August 21st, we moved into our apartment together, to into my second apartment. And, and things in that relationship went further downhill. And it steady decline. And... On either December 1st or 2nd, I broke up with my boyfriend at around 2 in the morning, and I was on the phone with my mom, and they, and my parents got up, got the vehicle ready, and drove around two and a half hours to come to my apartment. They ended up making it around 5 a.m. And at around, at around 2 a.m. when I broke up with him, I started packing everything. And it was taking some time. We weren't even fully unpacked and it was taking me plenty of time to pack things up. And what ended up happening was my brother came down. He, he, was, only, he, he was only around an hour away from me. So he came down with his best friend, and his best friend had to stay in the vehicle because my ex-boyfriend was threatening to call the cops if my brother's best friend came upstairs. That's also a very, very interesting story. I might tell it to you one day, but I would need to get permission from my brother's best friend to be able to explain the situation because I don't want to delve too much into that. And, what, it was just, it was wild. So I was trying to pack up, my brother came up and he started trying to pack up, trying to pack all of my things, and then at 5am my parents showed up and I still wasn't packed because, you know, it can take a while to pack. And all of a sudden, 
they came in and they just started packing all of my stuff up. And it only ended up taking like three hours to go through everything that was unpacked and pack up everything and load it into the, to the pull behind trailer. And <laughs> two and a half hours later, I was home. I would, well, after two and a half later, I was. Well, two and a half hours later, I was here. And honestly, guys, I do not recommend moving out on a crunch like that. If you can, take your time with moving out. It is chaos to try to move out in short amounts of time. If you're in a situation that you need to, get as much help as you can. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, here's a video that YouTube picked out just for you. If you want to look, watch more videos like this, check out this playlist up here. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to talk more about my life and about what happened in this gigantic process. And hopefully I'll see you guys later. Bye!